So this RX threw me for a little loop on a refrigerant charge. One, the stickers are missing. But luckily, I had my sticker under here and I did this one before back on the 10th month of 23. And uh, I recovered it again. They were right back again. And I made, I remember making a video of this and the hood was gone and the sticker was missing. And I wanted the refrigerant recovery sticker because this vehicle has two options. It has rear air conditioning, but when I looked up rear air conditioning inside my after aftermarket, uh, you know, going to a third party reference source, nothing was listed as a rear air conditioning, but there was an option for rear air conditioning refrigerant charge. So I did not know what they meant by rear air conditioning because sometimes I'm not familiar with on this one, the hybrid, did they mean rear air conditioning as this one? And there's an evaporator in here and I couldn't get under the car and see anything, everything. This is a hybrid model. I cannot physically see all the pipes going down to the firewall. It is buried. Uh, so do they mean the rear evaporator that would be in a rear quarter panel and we would have the little vents on top? Or do they mean that they have a rear evaporator system where they have a second small little evaporator? Now my third party source that I was looking for had four choices for evaporators and basically there was no description what was front or rear. I could not tell at all. It was really kind of screwed up. Uh, I went inside, looked at CCC, what their refrigerant charges were, and they were different than my refrigerant charges for front and rear. They had a front and rear. My third party source had a front and rear and they were both different. Now, I was able to go back to my invoice and looked it up at that date. And usually I always take pictures of the stickers and you hear my wording, usually. Well, in this particular case, I did not, but I did write down how many grams I put in it. And usually I get that off the sticker. I know I didn't get it from my source because my source does not have that number of grams down. And the CCC where I'm at on their computer does not have that number of grams down. So I'm gonna trust my source that I wrote down by hand that is totally different than both of them because it came with the vehicle. This is a problem getting information from aftermarket sources. And um, yeah, that's what I was faced with right now in my little dilemma. I could fill in the sticker right now. Uh, that's when I recovered it. It didn't get repaired within the same month. We're into the second month right now. And so I'll change that one to a two, put in the date right here. And I've known I've done this vehicle twice now. And uh, if they're a good customer, we'll see them in a couple of more months and I'll do them three times. Uh, but they just ordered the sticker because this, this shop is really good at ordering stickers. I guess it got missed or misplaced or didn't get delivered yet, but they told me and they have it right here. This is every shop should replace all the stickers. And what the shops do is they take pictures under the hood of the exact location where the original stickers were and this adds retail value to your car because if you go to trade your car in and it's missing all the stickers immediately right away somebody goes oh this car was an accident everything is uh, this is probably a messed up car devalue you're going to get dinged down on your price and when a shop does not replace your stickers they're literally stealing money out of your pockets that that's that's hack shop shit uh, this is stuff my dad taught me when I was young. We're talking back in the 70s. My dad says, be careful of shops who never replace any stickers or they don't try to match. Like when you put seam sealer on seams, they don't try to match the seam sealer. It's really sloppy. You don't want to go to those kind of shops. Um, this is a good shop. So they got that sticker come. They got all the other stickers. And uh, this was a problem I was having on. This one was just the refrigerant charge. And uh, now they got me curious because I was trying to look up the piping diagram and I'm going to do a little Sherlock Holmes research and try to look up the different available piping diagrams that are in my third party software to see the difference of what they have as rear air conditioning on vehicle because I couldn't find it right now but I contacted uh, my manufacturer or not manufacturer the, the one who does the software for the third party automotive information and I sent them a picture of screenshots of what I found and I told them what was wrong and hopefully they'll get back to me with the correct information so I, they can update their software for everybody else and my peace of mind and uh, 
my peace of mind will come when that OEM sticker comes back and I see it matches what I put on there. All right, guys, real world problems. Pick up the phone, take some video and let you know what happens. I looked in two aftermarket sources and both have different specifications for recharging, but at least both of them talk about the front and rear air conditioning. See you guys later. And no, I could not trace, I could not physically trace or see where the pipes go. I went underneath the car, tried to look up and it's all covered, it's a hybrid and they have the shields and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that now. At least I had it written down from before, so I'm confident about that. But I'm very upset at myself for not following my procedures and taking a picture of their original sticker that from the first time back on the 10th month of 23. But that was usually due to the hood was removed and already thrown in the trash. And I go looking for it. I always ask them, where's the original sticker? I start hunting down the technicians who work on the car. And I asked them because I want that original sticker. There's no guessing that goes on here. See you guys.